10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2... the 201st episode of the Magnolia Clubhouse Weekly Report. I'm Jen. And I'm Tiffany. Welcome to the news. And welcome to communications. Jen. Thank you. <laughs> Let's start things off with this week's top stories. Hello Clubhouse, I'm Ron. I'm here to talk to you about this year's 4th of July event. Just to give you a little bit of background, did you know that during the 4th of July, uh, we celebrate fireworks, family reunions, concerts, barbecues, picnics, parades, baseball games. And the significance of this is that on this day in 1776, the Declaration of Independence was adopted by the Second Continental Congress in Philadelphia. Which is just the reason that we celebrate uh, Independence Day, or it's the origin. This declaration was announced to the political separation of the 13 uh, North American colonies from Great Britain. Come join us at the clubhouse for fun in the sun on Independence Day here at the clubhouse. There'll be great food and games and an opportunity to hang out with the rest of your clubhouse community. Please schedule your transportation accordingly. Thursday, July 4th, from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Your ride should be scheduled to pick you up between 1.30 and 2. Come be prepared to do some good eating and smash some good food. See you. Good afternoon, Magnolia Knights. On Tuesday, July 2nd, Leanne Cornyn, who is the director of the Ohio Department of Mental Health and Addiction Services, or OMAS, will be visiting Magnolia Clubhouse. OMAS has already given support to the clubhouses in Ohio and this trip will help her understand why it is so important to continue expanding the clubhouse model across the state. Let's make sure on Tuesday, July 2nd, that we show her why Magnolia Clubhouse rocks. Let's fill the clubhouse and show an invigorating work order day. We're definitely looking forward to the 4th of July. How very American. What's going on with the membership unit? Hey, what's up, Megan? We got any tours today? I was hoping to give one. That would be amazing. Have you graduated from the tour training yet? No, I didn't. Now, there was training for it. Oh yeah, it's a part of the action plan coming back from London. The clubhouse wants to improve our tour system. Members that would like to be able to give tours are encouraged to graduate from the tour training before signing up to give any tours. So the training is super simple. Uh, you come to the next training, which would be on Monday at 11, to find out how to learn to give a tour. After you complete the initial training, we would love for you to give a staff member a tour. After you will officially become a tour to cadet, then you will just need to come to some refreshing meetings every other Friday. Do you think this is something you would be interested in participating in? Yes, this sounds really cool, but I did... Did you say graduate? Duh! You're going to be getting a certificate when you come to the training, and you're going to be presented with it at the Magnolia Clubhouse house meeting on the following Monday. Well, I'm looking forward to getting my certificate. I'll see you next Monday at 11. See you later, Megan. See ya! Well, yes. Hi, I'm Tiara, and I am a participant in the education program. I am currently attending Valley College to get a degree in medical assistant and I just want to encourage everybody here at the clubhouse, if you are interested in learning or getting your degree, you can do it too. I have been successful in the classroom and have advanced in clinicals, and I will be graduating in September. All members interested in the education or tutoring, please see Kevin L. Fall scholarships will be available starting July 1st, and the deadline will be July 19th. 
So never stop learning, Magnolia. Hello, my name is Kevin. We welcome everyone to this week's employment update, and we also would like to welcome Lucina, a returning member. Welcome back. Thank you. I appreciate that. I am Lucina, and things continue to move along quite smoothly this week. We recently learned that in our last house meeting, there will be some changes coming to the membership unit. Employment and education will be a standing unit while the membership unit will relocate to the West Building and integrate research and tracking to its daily unit work. The effort is to ensure that the clubhouse optimizes services and reaches more members. Please stay tuned. And traditional employment news, Heather continues to work the welcome desk and hospitality to prepare her role as receptionist at Legal Aid. Just a reminder, the work done at the clubhouse can help you return to work. The City of Cleveland reassured the clubhouse that efforts are still in place to identify suitable opportunities for transitional and supportive employment. Read the whole paragraph? Yes. Okay, here is the quote to end our segment. There is no passion to be found playing small and settling for a life that is less than the one you are capable of living. Nelson Mandela. What an inspiring quote. That is all for now. Now back to Magnolia News. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> Great report. Thanks, guys. Please visit the membership unit or let your staff know if you are interested in working or pursuing an educational goal. And now let's find out what the Friday Fun Day is. Hey, everyone. I'm Edna, and I'm here to let you in on a Friday Fun Day thing. Friday will be the day after Independence Day. So we will be having red, white, and blue day on on Friday, July the 5th. You better wear those colors, American colors. All right, everyone, I'm Edna, and that is for your Friday fun day thing. Now back to more news. Sounds great. You know what else would be great? What? If we could find out what's on this, on the menu this week. Okay, let's ask hospitality. Hi Clubhouse, I'm Emily here once again to bring you this week's menu. Monday we have veggie power bowl. Tuesday, chicken pesto with orzo and mixed veggies. Wednesday, taco salad. Thursday is our 4th of July picnic from 10 to 2. We hope to see a lot of you there. Friday is shrimp alfredo. Yummy! Another week of good lunches. Thanks, hospitality. And just a reminder, baking will take place in the kitchen Tuesdays after lunch, and the goodies will be sold in the cafe later in the week. Have a great week. Happy 4th of July, everyone. Now back to more news. Great meal as always. Thanks, hospitality. We all like having fun. Let's find out what this week's social events are to kick off the month. Okay. There's no one no Taco Bell secret recipe. Why? Because they keep it under wraps. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> what do you call a semi aquatic reptile that loves Mexican food? What? A tiger dial! <laughs> <laughs> Nachos with Tia and Aaron. Chip chip hooray! <laughs> and don't eat too many tacos because you'll put yourself into a taco muscle. <laughs> Hi everybody, Ron here. You know what time it is when you see my fabulous behind standing here. It is once again time for our monthly employment and education dinner here at the Clubhouse, Wednesday, July 3rd, 2024, from 4 30 to 6 30. Make sure you schedule your ride accordingly. There'll be some good food. Come learn about new educational opportunities and uh, other people sharing their job experiences and educational experiences. And we'd love to see you there. 
Hey Clubhouse, I am Allison. I wanted to tell you about some events in the Cleveland community this week. There are tons of celebrations happening throughout the greater Cleveland community for the 4th of July. But if you are unsure where, about where to go, I want to give you some options. If you live on the east side, you could go to Shaker Heights annual 4th of July pool party at Thornton Park from 1 to 5 p.m. And in addition to DJ spinning music, visitors can take rides on the Euclid Beach rocket car and enjoy other family activities. If you live closer to down, downtown, the Cleveland Guardians baseball team will have fireworks displays at the end of their games on July 3rd and July 5th. If you live on the west side, you could go to Lakewood for the parade, live music, and fireworks. Beginning at 10 a.m. on the 4th of July, the Lakewood Parade starts at Lake Avenue and head towards Lakewood Park. Independence Day ends with an evening Lakewood Project concert at the Lakewood Park Bandstand, followed by fireworks. There will be also fireworks displayed at Edgewater on the 4th, starting at sundown. That's all for me. Now back for more news. Happy 4th of July! Happy 4th of July! America! America! This human-sized rocket I made for the 4th of July is going to be awesome! Well, happy 4th of July! Are you sure we have to be at a clubhouse for 4th of July? We need to be there for 10 to 2. Something doesn't sound right! But, but we have to be at the clubhouse. There's going to be wings and there's going to be spiders and fruit salad and, and so much more. Like, there's going to be games and it's don't just worry, going to be so worry. much fun. We'll like, we need faster. to get there. Well, at least we made it. Yes. Oh, so many good things. I know it makes it so hard to decide. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Don't forget to pick up your July calendars. If you need help with transportation for social events, talk to a staff on your unit. Let's get an update on cyber safety tips. Hmm. Hello, everyone. I'm Matthew, and I'm here with another cyber reminder to help you stay safe online. This time, we will be discussing evil twins. When you go to an airport, coffee house, or any place with Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi hotspots, normally you'd assume it is safe to access the Wi-Fi for free while you are relaxing, right? As much as you'd like to plug in and connect for free, please make sure that the Wi-Fi that you're connecting to is legitimately correct for whatever venue you're seated in. Hackers use these hotspots and pretend to be the actual Wi-Fi hotspots for many places. Hence why these hotspot imposters are called evil twins or evil clones. But why is it so dangerous if you just access it, some may ask. If you use that hacker's Wi-Fi hotspot, the hacker can have access to all your passwords, personal information, emails, messages, etc. If you're in a public area such as a hotel, airport, coffee house, hospital, etc., please ask the staff there what the actual Wi-Fi name, code, etc. is so that you plug in safely instead of a deceitful doppelganger. If you do come across an evil twin server, please report it to the staff. Remember that hacking is a crime and you can help protect other individuals from be becoming online victims. All right, everyone. I'm Matthew. That was it for your cyber reminder. And now back to more main Magnolia news. Thank you, Matthew, for that info. It's now time for our weekly weather report. Hi, I'm Tyrese. This is the weather forecast. The weather will be high 80s next week, mostly sunny. You don't need any umbrella, so dress for the warmth while you're in the shade with a glass of lemonade. Have a great week. Now back to the news. The temperatures are climbing. Make sure you stay hydrated. Very important. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what our quote of the week is. Where there is love, there is life. Thank you for your time. Thanks for the quote. Sounds good. Time for this week's birthdays. Hey everyone, Jeremiah here, hitting you with the birthdays of the week. 
Will Wilson, Harry Potter 2, Hera, Duff, Elisa, K, Charles, Raphael, Robert, Kellen, Kelly, Felisa, Roman, and Melissa. Happy birthday, everyone. Now, back to my news. At one. Happy birthday to everyone. Let's hear about the health topic of the month. I heard it will be about infections and how to control them. Hmm. Well, why don't we get the update on that? Hi, I'm John, and for today's health and wellness fact, we are going to talk about infectious diseases. Infectious diseases are disorders caused by organisms such as bacteria, viruses, fungi, or parasites. Many, or many organisms live in and on our bodies. They're normally harmless or even helpful. But under certain conditions, some organisms may cause diseases. Some infectious diseases can be passed from person to person. Some are transmitted by insects or other animals. And you may get others um, by consuming contaminated food or water or being exposed to organisms in the environment. Many infectious diseases, such as measles and chickenpox, can be prevented by vaccines Frequent and thorough hand washing also helps protect you from most infectious diseases. Each, each infectious disease has its own specific sign and symptoms. General signs and symptoms common to a number of infectious diseases include fever, diarrhea, fatigue, muscle aches, and coughing. Seek, med seek medical attention if you have been bitten by an animal or having trouble breathing have been coughing for more than a week, have severe headache with fever, experiencing a rash or swelling, have unexplained or prolonged fever, have sudden vision problems. This has been the health and wellness fact for today. See you soon. Thanks for the info. Let's see what this week's standard is. Happy, happy 4th of July, everybody. I'm Kali Kegler and I'll be reading to you today. Here is this week's standard, number 15. The work order day engages members and staff together, side by side in the running of the clubhouse. The clubhouse focuses on strengths, talents, and abilities. Therefore, the work order day must not include medication clinics, day treatment, or therapy programs within the clubhouse. Everybody have a wonderful and safe holiday. Bye-bye. Make sure to continue discussing the standards on your unit. Our three, two, one guys have another update for all you sports fans. Welcome to a special NBA draft edition of Magnolia's Clubhouse Sports, along with Scott Trella and Keaton Lakewood. Scott, before we get to the Cavs' number one draft pick, they had a coaching they had a coaching hiring. Can you let us know who the new Cavaliers coach is? Well, the Cavs have hired former Golden State Warriors assistant. Kenny Atkinson is their new head coach. He has a lot of coaching experience, and he's a very offensive-minded coach, and he's going to bring a lot of offensive coaching to this Cavs team. And he also has an offensive development program, which will help our young center, Evan Mobley, as well. Uh, uh, Atkinson was once with the New Jersey, excuse me, with the Brooklyn Nets. And during his time with the Brooklyn Nets, he helped uh, drafted not only Jared Allen, but also had the uh, rights to uh, superstar uh, backup, uh, Karis LeVert. So him coming to the Cavs, not only is going to help Jared Allen, but it's going to help Karis LeVert with their more familiarity. Now onward to the 2024 NBA Draft. With the 20th pick in the NBA Draft, the Cavaliers select Jalen Tyson, a forward from the University of California, who is 6'6", 218 pounds, and he really put up a lot of big numbers with the University of California. He averaged over 19 points a game, was named to the Pac-12 first team, so he says he's basically a shooter, and the Cavs do desperately need a forward. Okay, in other Cavs news, uh, Donovan Mitchell apparently won't there are still in talks on whether he's going to have an extension. We will now have more news on that and possibly more news on the future of Darius Garland. And that is it for this edition of Magnolia Clubhouse Sports on KIL. That is the final buzzer for this week. Scott, you're at the free throw line. Make them count.
And as I always say, always remember, be a team player each and every day, in every way possible. So long, everybody. Three, two, one. We're done. Hello, my name is Michael Klein, and I'd be pleased to share with you another one of my favorite poems by Hopkins. It's entitled, The Wind Hope. I caught this morning, morning's minion. Kingdom of Daylight's Dolphin, dappled dawn drawn falcon in his riding of the rolling level underneath him steady air and striding high. How he rung upon the rein of a wimpling wing in his ecstasy, then off, off forth on swing as a skate's hill skips smooth on a bow bend. The hurl and gliding rebuffed the big wind. My heart in hiding stirred for a bird the achieva, the mastery of the thing, brute beauty and valor and act, oh, air, pride, plume here, buckle, and the fire that breaks from thee then, a billion times told lovelier, more dangerous, oh, my chevalier, no wonder of it, sheared plod made plow down cillium shine, and blue bleak embers, ah, my dear, fall, gall themselves, and gash gold vermilion. Thank you. Great report! Thanks, guys! That's all for this week. Thanks to all the contributors to the weekly report. The Communications Unit, which produces this news program, we encourage you to come up and join us if you are interested in participating. Be sure to check our Magnolia Clubhouse's Facebook page, Instagram, TikTok, and our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed what you've seen this week, then be sure to like the video and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. And please, share these videos and pages with others. MagnoliaClubhouse.org is our official website and we maintain a presence on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, and Facebook. I'm Jen. And I'm Tiffany. Bye! Bye. If you're living with mental illness, join the club.